Hey Aquarius Moon, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ana Eilina. We are going to tap into some love messages for you all. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and share with your other Aquarius Moon friends. Thank you, okay? Let's tap in and just see what's coming out, okay? Be open to receive the messages that are meant for you. So please use your discernment. Okay, you got the Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords, Seven of Cups, figuring out what makes you happy, getting clarity on that. Okay, I thought something flipped out. Okay, Five of Wands in reverse, the Star, the Ace of Wands, connecting with someone in particular or um, people, okay, who they are drama free. Five of Wands in reverse, the Star, that's Aquarius energy, the Ace of Wands could be Leo, Aries, Sag. Okay, this could be giving you more perspective. So perhaps some of you are meeting new people with the Ace of Wands, experiencing new people. This is giving you perspective on different energies. Okay, and, and like, hmm, it's like trying different samples. <laughs> okay, like, hmm, I like that. I didn't think I would, you know? So yeah, be open. As I said that, the Ace of Cups coming out, that's dope. Yeah, in the full here. This is new attitude energy. This is new. Okay, I like. Oh, cut the deck and the star is there again. Beautiful. Okay. Dope. Okay, we got the Queen of Wands. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. All right, Queen of Pentacles here. And the Chariot. I feel like um you're, you're dealing with boss energy, okay? And it's because you're showing up like that. And I feel like um, that's in Aquarius's energy right now, whatever placement you have, wherever it is in your chart, okay? Um, I think that has everything to do with Pluto and Aquarius to bring in power, all right, to, to the sign. Chariot and the Eight of Cups here. Six of Wands, the Emperor, the King of Cups. This, didn't I say you're dealing with bosses? Okay. You got Aries energy out here. Pisces. And you're taking your time. I saw the Judgment and the Knight of Pentacles here. I don't think you're restricting yourself, but you're you're moving very maturely and taking your time. Um, what's these options? <laughs> The King of Pentacles. Woo! The Empress. The Sun. Okay. I just heard Candyland. Okay, Aquarius Moon. Seven of Wands. And the Death card here. Three of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, Aquarius Moon. If you haven't come into these connections yet, I definitely feel like you're attracting them. I feel like this is the universe telling you like what you will be attracting that type of energy. This is like very bossed up energy. These are these are energies I would say that um, are convicted. Like they take action. It's not just talk, you know. Yo, yeah, Six of Pentacles. Like the type to just surprise you with random ass gift on a random ass Tuesday, like Kendrick dropping. <laughs> oh. Coming in for Aquarius moons. Got the moon, okay? The Queen of Pentacles, exactly. Surprise, surprise. You got the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Two of Pentacles. It might surprise you to the point of scaring you. Clarify the moon, though. Yeah, Six of Cups. Your mind's going to go back to the past. Nine of Wands, Three of Pentacles. So I feel like Spirit's like, be mindful of that. Because like I always say for Aquarius moon people, um... We have a tendency to think about our feelings instead of just feeling them, just being in them and, and allowing ourselves to feel. Um, and then we can overthink ourselves, right? So, um, yeah, this feels like the energy that you're coming into, the new dating, uh, the, the new people that you'll be dating or that will find you interesting or, you know, take interest in you. I feel like it's definitely different for you and it might feel a little bit uncomfortable 
yeah look the two of cups and the nine of swords as i was just about to say there could even be a little bit of imposter syndrome coming in so really watch that nine of swords overthinking anxiety right and right behind it is the five of pentacles and i feel like that stems from um you know self-worth self-esteem so that shadow work um there judgment and the nine of wands and it could stem from always feeling like you know feeling like you were always alone or doing things on your own or getting through stuff on your own okay which again i do feel like aquarius moon is a tricky placement to have because it's a thinking right it's air sign um yeah justice card here the nine of pentacles and the lovers but trust that this is the universe okay so when this starts to happen for you or it's happening right now trust that this is the universe like telling you you deserve this nine of pentacles and the lovers it's okay to have help okay all right aquarius i feel like you need to hear that aqua moon it's okay to have help okay it's okay to be supported it's okay to have a partner um i think that some of you might be afraid of losing yourself in that and that's valid you know, so that's something to be mindful of. Okay, you have the Eight of Cups here, Ten of Wands, and the Four of Wands. So I feel like the universe <laughs> is going to force you to put down these heavy, like, beliefs that you might have from the past. Yeah, High Priestess, the Strength card, and the Empress okay finally like releasing something all right could be from like a past relationship or just you know there there is like a fear or heaviness or like a paranoia yeah of being hurt or left yeah page of swords here seven of pentacles and the ace of swords this could be by way of somebody telling you something some of you it could be therapy chariot ten of pentacles and the queen of cups is you get a message of something to like let something go and move on like move on um with your feelings right like it's like letting something go look literally move on with your feelings queen of cups feelings ten of swords that's moving on that's the last bit that's the final sword all right um guidance here i'm gonna pull another one ace of swords and the four of wands okay and the emperor and it's just like getting clear that what you're coming into the 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 type of people that you're coming into are the type of people that you want to align with like that's what you want to start to focus on all right so let's get another spread out here yeah these people are stable <laughs> that's what that feels like it's like they're they they don't have like this survival mode mentality maybe because of their stability that could be something that's important to you especially if you feel like you've been in survival mode and that's something that you've overcome death card strength card as i'm saying that all right let's get new energy aqua moons one more love message for the aquarius moon people spirit Thank you. The Knight of Swords. The Strength card in reverse. The Eight of Swords in reverse. Oh, somebody's patience. Okay, Nine of Swords and the Six of Cups. Ah, that's a lot of Swords energy. Somebody, you could be dealing with the Leo. What's your energy here? Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, maybe not feeling confident. Two of Cups, losing confidence in someone, definitely losing patience in someone, with someone. King of Swords here could be with another air sign. Two of Wands and the Nine of Swords. It's almost, it's like worrying about your future with someone, right? Or that could be their energy. Use your discernment, please. Clarify the Knight of Swords, but um, Seven of Pentacles in reverse and the High Priestess. Could be dealing with the Pisces, the Tower in the World. Somebody's losing it like 
their patience and therefore might like blow up or something this could be you too um yeah justice in the three of swords i i, I feel like that because something's just not right you just feel like it's just not right um yeah page of wands the fool and the page of cups you might just tell somebody you, you want to freaking leave seven of wands in reverse you don't even want to fight for it anymore yeah five of cups in reverse i just feel like you, so you're ready to throw the towel in with something five of swords king of wands this could be a habitual liar or the eight of swords in reverse the six of cups yeah <sighs> page of cups and the three of cups here Page of Cups in reverse, Four of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. This person is immature. This energy uh, that you're dealing with here is immature. It's tiring me, okay? So I feel you being tired of this. Um, what's the guidance? The Hierophant, the Nine of Wands, the Emperor, okay? chariot the sun and the death card i was gonna say for some of you if there are kids you might be i don't know going the legal route or something especially if this is like an ex or or you go, are going to be separating from someone that you have kids with um yeah others of you your guidance is just like move move forward move on the sun the empress death the world the chariot the hierophant it's just like this you don't need this you don't need this okay like this i didn't even read on it that long and it's just heavy it's tiring yeah the star in reverse like that shit will make you blow up whatever this is will make you lose your temper will make you go back into unhealed spaces and shit five of swords and the eight of wands hell no nah. okay we'll send you to jail like no mm -mm. and that's that let's get your last moon card That's tiring. I feel like I need to yawn. <laughs> My shoulders hurt. Just and it could have physically drained you or physically be draining you. If you're feeling physically drained, the second reading here, like, yeah, you need to block that. All right, yes, exactly. You have the new moon in Sagittarius here with focus on the positive, okay? focus on the positive all right that's what i have for you aquarius moon people please like comment subscribe and share with your aquarius moon friends and i'll catch you in the next one bye